Hey guys, it's Jake from Memory Cards, and I just wanted to bring you a little video here talking about Bethesda and Sony. So, the article that I got this information from is from Game Informer, and it's written by Andrew Reiner, and the title is, Bethesda may not release the, Ar the Elder Scrolls Legends on systems that don't allow crossplay. And, as we know, the only system right now that doesn't allow crossplay is the PlayStation 4. So... I think that's pretty crazy that Bethesda is taking a stance like that to not put a game on the most popular console of the generation right now, the PlayStation 4. So in the article it says, Hines, uh, Pete Hines, the uh, person at Bethesda says, The way the game works right now on Apple, Google, Steam, and Bethesda.net, it doesn't matter where you buy your stuff. If you play it on another platform, that stuff is there. It doesn't matter what platform you play on. Which, I'm sure most people with a brain will agree with me that that is a good thing. To have your stuff usable on your iPhone, your Android, your iPad, your Google tablet, what have you. To have that usable on all of your platforms. It's just ridiculous that Sony takes this sort of stance. Remember that they used to say, oh, we're for the gamers. Well, <laughs> where is that now? You know, it's just, it just seems like they're back to their old ways that they were in the uh, PS2 era. Remember how that worked out, Sony? Like, right out of the gate, the PS3 suffered, suffered so much. And it just seems like Sony kind of built themselves back up, which, I mean, is great. I love my PS4. You know, my Xbox One died a few months ago. Actually, probably about a year ago now, and I haven't even had the the notion in my mind to get it repaired or to get a new unit there's just no point the playstation 4 has just knocked everything out of the park this year this uh generation rather and it just seems like they're back to their old ways they're back to their old archaic ways draconian ways where they're it's their way or the highway baby you know and it's really great to see companies like Bethesda take this sort of stance, although I'm sure when it comes down to brass tacks, they're going to put their game on the console, because it's the biggest console, it has the biggest market out there right now, it will most likely make them the most amount of money out of all the consoles. Later on in the article, uh, the writer says, I asked him if there's a chance that it won't come out on PlayStation 4 if Sony doesn't change its stance. And Heinz says, we continue to talk to all of our platform partners, but those terms are essentially non-negotiable. We can't be talking about one version of Legends where you take your progress with you and another version where they stay within that ecosystem where it's walled off from everything else. That is counter to what the game has been about. That's such a great mentality for a huge company like Bethesda to have, you know? Um, especially with a lot of people now speaking out. You know, I've seen uh, Game Over Greggy from Kind of Funny Games... I've seen a lot of people from IGN, I've seen Happy Console Gamer, I believe, I've seen just a ton of people speak their mind and speak their displeasure about how greedy Sony has been. And, you know, Ninja, the most popular streamer in the world right now, was just, I believe, uh, interviewed in an article with Polygon, where he stated that he would love for everybody to just, you know, work together to have all their stuff be cohesive and have one ecosystem. But in the end, he just says, Sony is just being greedy. You know, it's as simple as that. And I think from my viewpoint, just a consumer, just a random dude, it really does seem like that. You know, I understand that they want to protect their IP, their, they want to protect their, their ecosystem, but this is just ridiculous. You know, when Fortnite came out on the Switch, I was looking forward to playing it, you know. Um, I was looking forward to just moving my stuff over from PS4, but I couldn't do that. And I did, you know, put a few bucks in here and there and get a, a few passes and whatnot and a few skins. And it really sucks to just let that die, almost. You know what I mean? So, hopefully with all this outcry, Sony will kind of, I guess, kick themselves in the butt and realize that, yeah, this is being kind of crappy because... I mean, history only repeats itself. It'll probably end up happening again, uh, like the PS3 did, if this, you know, unless something god-awful happens, unless Microsoft comes out and is like, uh, hey guys, um, yeah, our system isn't going to be 
uh, a game system. It's actually straight up just going to be videos, you know, kind of like what they did with the Xbox One. So who knows? Maybe Sony will, you know, wake up one morning and be like, yeah, this is really wrong. You know, this is a really bad idea. Why do we keep doing shit like this? So hopefully, you know, within the coming months, maybe a year, God, we will see them change their minds because it would be fantastic to play games like Rocket League, Fortnite, uh, Elder Scrolls Legends, basically all of these games that offer crossplay between Xbox and Nintendo Switch or Switch and PC, you know, like Minecraft. It would be so great to just have a unified gaming world because it just it's just basic consumer not consumer rights but it's just basic things that us as consumers should be asking for so yeah let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comments below i would love to hear your input on it all right i'll talk to you guys later see ya